Back here in Lagos, the Lagos State Security Trust Fund Thursday held a stakeholders meeting with the theme developing an effective public-private partnership towards the improvement of security in the state. The trust gave account of donations and security projections for the state. Anybody's business. Um, Gathered in this room are stakeholders drawn from corporate bodies, private security practitioners, and other agencies. And over the years, some have partnered the trust fund, and after this meeting, some more may do the same. While giving the account of the funds donated, the executive secretary says the state must look at security holistically. The government is still the biggest donor of the Lagos State Security Trust Fund, even though it's a creation of the state. And so the government kind in the last 10 years has been about 15.1 billion naira. That means all the corporations in Lagos, quite a huge number of corporations in Lagos, we've only been able to receive 4.3 billion naira in the last 10 years. That is 20.6%. So in the light of above, adequate security is expensive, hence the need for more consistent donations. The future of an effective security structure for Lagos State, ladies and gentlemen, is that we believe that a mega city like Lagos that can be compared to any city in the world. When you say a mega city, we have a population of about 21 million people. There are, there, there are not so many cities in the world that can boast of 21 million people. There's a huge amount of uh, population, and we believe that certainly we cannot police the city effectively by just uh, men on ground or boots on ground. So the future for the effective security is to is to is to have world class equipment. Nobody can stand around. Commander Rapid Response Squad says his team's activities show that the funds are judiciously used. Every little damage on our vehicles are repaired immediately. I don't need to worry about where to get money from because the trust fund has it. The only thing I need to do is to monitor my men to ensure they take care of the vehicles they, as they are babies because it's one of the most vital equipment we have for doing our job in Lagos. Stakeholders, now. especially private security so, practitioners, well, raised their concerns the concerning the laws the and the provision law. of their members' so, database as suggested by the Thrust Fund, amongst the others. We work in an organization members of my community, where we have branches all over the nation. Most of our branches are concentrated in Lagos. But when you're talking of security provisions, we are talking of, we are thinking of outside Lagos. What happened? A couple of months ago, every bank here was debited for Central Bank a minimum of 180 million. They say it was security donation, done by the Central Bank. So, and at Lagos, at the Lagos State level, our banks are still contributing. So sometimes, the CEO calls you, what are we, we have, they've got the money from, what is that money, who is that money meant for? And let us say they are contributing. So I would like a situation where there will be a holistic review so that we have a, a kind of synergy because all those donations are coming from all sides. Sometimes we may not be able to explain. I'm telling you, you can investigate. The minimum rate and the average bank paid was 180 million. It was not optional, it was debited. <laughs> I was asking myself when doctor was talking. I said, doctor has made a case, a clear case for state policy. That's it. That's a template. It, that's a template. So if we have to if we have to go forward, this is the template we should use. Security is expensive. That's what doctor said. If they have to contribute so much from that fund for the Nigeria, and we also do a lot, we don't have to, I mean, we all know that. It tells you something, and I'm saying this guardedly because the press men are here. It means that federal policing has failed, and that we need to begin to look at state policy. The amount of money that goes into the Nigerian police from agencies is enormous. And you ask yourself, as the Nigerian police abdicated his responsibility, is a discussion for another day. Other issues deliberated upon are the need for business premises in the state to have security cameras fixed on them and the need to raise more funds to better secure the state.